Hello, today I'll discuss about the histology of the liver. So the histological structure of the liver, if you go there, we'll get that the liver is the largest gland of our body. And the structural components of the liver include the parenchyma, the plates of hepatocyte, connective tissue stroma, sinusoidal capillaries, and perisinusoidal spaces of DC. Idea is that this is the largest gland of the body. So like any other gland, it has two components. One is the parenchyma, another one is the stroma. The parenchyma is formed by the, by the hepatocyte, and hepatocyte is supported by the connective tissue. That kind of tissue is an extension of the Gleason's capsule over the, over the liver. So we got that. Now we we'll go there. So if we go to the structure in terms of functional unit, we'll get the classic hexagonal lobule like this okay this lobule is here is the central vein hepatic sinusoids are fed by the portal vein and the hepatic artery and the blood is going towards the central vein and it will ultimately go to the hepatic vein to the inferior vena cava okay this is one type of functional unit. This is the most commonly practiced functional unit in terms of structure of the liver. Okay, we have another type of functional unit that is called portal lobule, drain bile from the hepatocyte to the bile duct. So from hepatocyte, it will go to the bile duct. Okay, so here we'll go go through the bile duct here so it is formed by the communication between three central veins here okay so we got that there is the portal lobule portal lobule drain bile from the hepatocyte to the bile duct bile duct are present in the portal triad area this is our bile duct one bile duct another bile duct is another bile duct is here another bile duct is here so if we connect three central vein we'll get the bile duct at the center here this is the portal level we have hepatic assignments depending on the blood supply okay so here if we just remove that that image so we'll find out this is the diamond shaped space this is the hepatic as sinus supplies oxygenated blood to the hepatic as sinus by means of the branch of the hepatic artery here okay so portal lobule drain bile from hepatocyte to the bile duct here is the bile duct and the hepatic lobule are uh, are uh, here they will 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 collect bl blood from the portal vein and the hepatic artery that goes through the hepatic sinusoid goes to the central vein from central vein it will go to the hepatic vein eventually then to the inferior vena cava So this is the classic hepatic lobule that is more or less hexagonal in, 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 in shape. This is almost hexagonal. And this is outlined by the capsule. That capsule is an extension of the Gleason's capsule over the, over the liver. And this is connective tissue. This capsule is not very distinct in human specimen, human liver. It is mostly seen in pig or in camel okay so hepatocytes are organized into anastomoting plates that radiates towards the central vein this is the central vein one central vein 
and this is the plates of hepatocyte, multiple plates of hepatocyte, and in between the hepatocyte plate, we we'll get the hepatic sinusoids. Corner of the hexagonal lobule are occupied by portal triad. So here we'll get portal triad. This portal triad contains a branch of the portal vein. This is the largest structure. We'll get a branch of the hepatic artery and we'll get a ductule of the, of the bile duct interlobular bile duct or ductule. So these three forms the portal triad. So what are the components of portal triad? This is branch of portal vein, branch of hepatic artery, and a bile ductule or a interlobular bile duct. Okay. Here we are also getting the, the portal triad here. Again, with the portal vein, vein is usually larger than duct, the bile duct and the artery. We may get more than one duct because of the type of section and the, and the branching pattern. We may get more than one artery. And we may not get all these three in all the six corners okay, in our histological section. But central vein is always constant. This is central vein. It will go to the inter, interlobular vein. Then ultimately, it will go to the hepatic vein then it will go to the inferior vena cava. Okay, so we got that. Here is the portal triad. So portal triad, what are the components of portal triad? It, it is, this is the bile duct, the bile ductule uh, is component of the bigger bile duct, bile ductule or interlobar, interlobular bile duct. And this is the branch of the hepatic artery. Okay. And this is the, the portal vein here, a branch of the portal vein. So artery, vein, duct or duct, artery, vein that forms the portal triad. Portal triad has a branch of portal vein, branch of hepatic artery. We know that hepatic artery is, our, we have two hepatic artery, left hepatic artery, right hepatic artery. These hepatic arteries are coming out of the hepatic artery proper. There is a continuation of the common hepatic artery that is a branch of the celiac trunk from the abdominal aorta. Okay, we have interlobular bile duct. This is the interlobular bile duct. Okay, now just we look at that. The flow of bile is away from the center. The flow of blood is towards the central vein. So this is the hepatic sinusoid here. And hepatic sinusoid is bounded on one side by hepatocyte, another side by hepatocyte. Okay, like, like this. We, we found that here is hepatocyte, here is hepatocyte. And this is the central vein here. Okay, so we got the central vein is receiving the hepatic sinusoidal blood. Hepatic sinusoid is, is receiving blood from the portal vein branch and the branch of the hepatic artery. So here the arterial blood and the venous blood are mixed. The venous blood from the portal vein is rich in nutrition. The blood from the hepatic artery is rich in oxygen. Around 75% blood from the portal vein, 25% blood is coming from the hepatic artery. Okay, we got that. This is the hepatic sinusoid. Sinusoid contains the Kuffar cell, the phagocytic cell. There is the phagocytic cell. Okay, we got that. Now, here is the hepatic sinusoid. These are irregular vascular channels run parallel and between the plates of hepatocytes. So this is our, this is the, this is the hepatic sinusoid. Okay, they receive blood from portal vein and hepatic artery lined by discontinuous endothelium. Look at that. This is the endothelium. This discontinuous. Okay, contains Kupffer cell. This is the Kupffer cell a derivative of monocyte, a, a part of the 
mononuclear phagocytic system here okay we got that this is the kupfer cell phagocytic cell it will phagocyte the old rbc it will phagocyte the bacteria the opsonized bacteria okay and also the debris peri perisinocellular spaces contain eto cell so we'll get eto cell here this cell is rich in fat and a vitamin a that is present in the peri sinusoidal space of dc okay so this is the this is a a hepatocyte this constitute 80 percent of liver cell only had the cell with spherical nuclei cytoplasm is rich in organelle like a lot of mitochondria we have a lot of rough endoplasmic reticulum okay and we have the golgi apparatus lysosome rough endoplasmic reticulum because it is very much highly active cell highly metabolic cell it may contain 2000 to 4000 mitochondria basal surfaces rest on the space of dc here Apical surface is connected to the adjacent hepatocyte to form bile canaliculus. This is the bile canaliculus. Okay. Functions of hepatocyte, endocrine function, endocrine function. Metabolism, detoxification, glycogen storage, immune function, vitamin storage function. Okay. Bile canaliculi, the canaliculi drain into short canal of herring okay we have the short canal of herring herring lined by the hepatocyte this is hepatocyte here hepatocyte and the cholangiocyte that is this this is the cholangiocyte that are in contact with the bile okay canal of herring harbor specific hepatic stem cells clinical application Liver has the capacity to regenerate. Around 75% liver may be taken out, but still the liver will regrow. Okay, liver transplantation is a common practice. Diseases, liver may be enlarged due to any parasitic infection or any other cause, like that of malaria, collagen, hepatitis may be caused by the viruses, jaundice due to the excessive breakdown of the RBC. Cirrhosis of liver due to breakdown of the parenchymal cell in the alcoholic person and liver cancer may involve the hepatocyte or the cholangiocytes. Okay, these are the viva question. What are the structural components of the liver? We have the hepatic lobule. What is hepatic lobule? That is the classic structural unit. We have portal lobule depending on the bile flow hepatic sinus depending on the hepatic artery distribution oxygenated blood what structure opens into the hepatic sinusoid branch of hepatic artery branch of portal vein what is the lining epithelium of hepatic sinusoid it is discontinuous endothelial cell the central vein is also lined by the discontinuous endothelial cell space of dc space between the peri Sinusoidal space is called space of DC that contains ito cell. What is the space of mole that is present between the, the limiting plate modified hepatocyte around the portal triad, portal, the space of mole, it contains some lymphatics. What is inside the hepatocyte? A lot of organelle, like that of the mitochondria and the bottomic reticulum lysosome. What is portal triad, portal vein, hepatic artery, and the bile duct? Canal of herring is the formation of the bile duct. Function of the liver, we have multiple functions. And that's all about the histology of the liver. If you like my video, please support my channel. Any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends. Have a nice day. Bye now.